your arraignment uh, court date on June 27? Yes, ma'am. I called in that morning and then just realized that it was that thing that I was supposed to be in court. And when I called the boss with that, he said, well, you can commit the court date. So uh, he brought me back and he said it would be 30 days before I could possibly get uh, the bond set or be in state. So uh, I've been trying to get the uh, bond set for a couple of months now. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, very to make a cool day and didn't make it. Mr. Porter, can I interrupt for a moment? Yeah, Tell me why it was that uh, you were not a regular. Uh, oh. okay. uh, how severe is your short term in my loss? Well, short term, you see, since I didn't have to work, you're what I do when I was six years old. Since I didn't have to work. And I just, uh, he had just framed the court date for me uh, for my history. And when I was in his office, when I missed that court date, I mean, he had just framed the back for me. And I called him to try to see if he could straighten this one. And he said, no, I can't, I can't straighten this one. You're going to have to go back to jail. You're going to have to go back to court. Uh, to the judge again. I'm sure this means it's a I mean, it
objection to me accepting I mean, the evidence to report from the Florida State Hospital? Any other evidence that the state of the defense would like to present at this time? <coughs> at this time, I find Mr. Beck is competent to proceed. I'm going to ask that uh, Ms. Gravitt will call that up. It's just a simple order finding for the day. So I'm going to find Mr. Beck is competent to proceed at this time. This is the records that I gave to, um, I was trying to get in front of the courts proving that uh, I was sound when all this took place. It's also records of where the Bay County government had took a tractor and went through the top of my roof, put their foot through the top of my um, roof in three different places. And it's also where I went to meet with the, the um, people from the EE Global Forum on Energy, where the Bay County School Board had paid me to get there, and the teacher that went there with me, which I wish to call as a witness if I had to, but they stated that I was delusional. Mr. Beck, at this time, you have a court order that you're confident to proceed in the Good luck to you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, A mother, 34 years old. Spates, Smiley's, Wings, uh, and uh, the Maxi Name from Memphis Moore. I have a strong roots here. Myself with private counsel towards this case. You don't have to worry about me going in with I mean, I'm not running for my daughter's house, about me and my daughter. I'm not going to do that. I will stand trial. I'm going to stand trial. And that's, that's just a fact of the matter. And I have to do that for me and my daughter. All right. So, I want to take that into consideration. I could probably make a five to ten thousand dollar bond, some cash bond. Um, other than that, I would I would do a um, leg monitor, um, whatever. Get out of here, come on, y'all. Okay, and just then try not to worry about that.
You're an attorney, aren't you? I am. What's your name? You're a bike man, aren't you? Yeah, you're, what's your name? Do you mind not recording me? Huh? I'm not giving you permission to record me. I heard you say something about uh, speedy trial. <laughs> These are, this is an oak Russian prosecution. Can you get this to Gary Wayne Beck? He needs this. He needs this. Well, I can try. He's being released from the jail this, by this afternoon. He'll be out. So. Well, can you get it? If you can get it to him, I'd greatly appreciate it, man. Because, okay. because, see, here's the thing. If he had that, let me tell you something. I backed down three cops with that, that yeah. oath arrest and prosecution. Yeah. I, you know? Um, I think uh, if uh, Gary's mom... Uh, I don't know if Gary will be back with his mom or where he's going to go, um, or if he'll be able to go back to his yeah. condo that he had. His mom was getting worried he'd been locked up so long he was going to lose it, you know, lose his place. Yeah, so yeah. So I'm not sure where he's going, but yeah, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> we got him out, so. Huh? We got him hey, out. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I want to I wanna thank your husband, Mike Grabner, for giving me that bicycle. Oh, I want to thank you very much for that, so you know? I will, I will you know? Because he saw me. And, and I got to scold you. Yes, sir. Why ain't you an opera singer? <laughs> huh? <laughs> why aren't you, Anne? Why aren't you an opera? I kid you. Why aren't you? That's so sweet that you I kid you not. Did you listen? To, did you did you go on YouTube and listen to Emily West? Yes, you told me to, and I did. I, and and it, did she did she put chills up and down your spine in a good way? Yes. <laughs> Not in a biblical way. <laughs> she is talented. Isn't she incredible? Yeah. Yeah. So what I've been trying to what I'm trying to do and. I'm not getting no no credit for it or anything like that, but I want her to be here in Panama City, Florida. She could put Panama City, Florida on the map, and nobody will listen to me. Well, I know. Has she? What's she doing now? Since she was. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me. 